What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be going over my top five go-to and available budget bourbons and they're all going to be under $30. But before I get into my top five, I do want to mention these two bourbons, give them an honorable mention. The only reason they're not on my list is just because they're not readily available to everyone. The Eagle Rare Outstanding Pour $30 price tag, I know that price is very subjective. I've heard astronomical pricing on this one of $80 and upwards and the Buffalo Trace $26 price tag on this is just not readily available to everyone. Now my list is in no specific order it's just the top five bourbons that I go to regularly that I think are just outstanding budget pours of whiskey and they're all going to be under $30. Before I get into my top five, I must pour something to drink. You cannot have a whiskey video without drinking some whiskey. Finish off the rest of this Eagle Rare right here. Do a big pour. Get that out of the way. It was just about gone. Needed to be finished off anyway. Cheers, guys. Lovely pour of bourbon whiskey. Eagle Warrior is outstanding. That being said, let's get into my top five budget bourbons. First up, we have the Knob Creek Small Batch. The Knob Creek Small Batch is a Beam Centauri product that is distilled at Jim Beam Distillery. This whiskey is a non age stated whiskey with a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. It has a 50% ABV, 100 proof for the MSRP of around 25 to 30 bucks. The Knob Creek Small Batch, guys, in my opinion, is an outstanding budget pour. 50% ABV, 100 proof, and they are coming back this year, 2020, with a nine-year age statement on this for the $25 to $30 price range. Outstanding budget pour. On the nose, you're getting vanilla cake frosting, a rich caramel, that Jim Beam and nuttiness, and a little bit of clove and spice in there also. Outstanding rich nose, very approachable once again for 100 proof. And on the palate, it's rich caramels, nuttiness, brown sugar. It almost reminds me of a desserty coffee cake. No coffee in there, of course, but it's got that, that vanilla cakey dessertous frosting on it, brown sugar, and it's finishing in an oaky, rich caramel clove note. This is just a very, very good solid pour of whiskey for the $25 to $30 price range. Let's get into my second pick. My second pick is the Old Forester Signature 100 Proof. The Old Forester 100 is a brown forming product that is distilled by Old Forester Distilling Company. This is a non a stated whiskey with a mash bill of 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% malted barley, 50% ABV, 100 proof with an MSRP of $25 to $30. The Old Forester Signature 100 Proof, guys, another fine example of a very well put together budget bourbon in my opinion. 100 Proof, 50% ABV, and it's and there's no ethanol sense really at all to the whiskey at a $25 to $30 price range. Whiskey at 100 Proof, you do tend on most whiskeys at 100 Proof to get that ethanol tinge to it. This has very little at all. The same with the Knob Creek and most of the whiskeys that I'm going to show you today. Most of them are a high proof, heavy hitters except for one, but we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. As far as this one goes on the nose, you're getting bananas, a nice caramel vanilla note, a little bit of oak and a little bit of rye spice on the nose. Very, there's nothing real sophisticated or complex about it. Just a good, hearty, vibrant nose to this whiskey. On the palate, kind of follows suit except you're getting a nice cocoa and oak note on the finish. At least I am anyway. And if I would love, why, why I forgot to say this earlier, I would love to get know your guys' top five budget pours under $30. Leave them in the comments below. I do know and understand this is a very subjective list. 
With that being said, let's get into my third pick of my top five budget bourbons under $30. Next up is the Elijah Craig Small Batch. Elijah Craig Small Batch is a Heaven Hill product that is a non-aged stated bourbon with a mass bill of 78% corn, 10% rye, 12% malted barley, 47% ABV, 94 proof, with an MSRP of around $26. The Elijah Craig Small Batch, guys, it's just a good pour of whiskey. I mean, who doesn't love Elijah Craig Small Batch? $25, $26 MSRP. I can pick this up for around $25, $26 all day, every day. It's just a good, solid sipper without a doubt. And it's very approachable. Nothing complex at all about this. It's just rich caramels and vanillas and that distinct Heaven Hill nutty characteristic on the nose. Pretty much follows suit on the palate. Medium finish and it's finishing with a little bit of a clove rye spice finish and a nice barrel note on the nose. This is just a good, solid, you can pretty much pick up anywhere bourbon whiskey. It's just a good, solid pour. I, I, I really, really enjoy it. It's one of my everyday sippers. Nice, good, solid pour of whiskey. Let's get into my next pick. Next up, guys, it's the Old Granddad 114. The Old Granddad 114 is a Beam Centauri product distilled at Jim Beam Distillery. This is a non-aged stated bourbon with a mash bill of 63% corn, 27% rye, 10% malted barley. It has a 57% ABV, 114 proof, with an MSRP of around $25 to $30. The Old Granddad 114, guys, to me, is a good, solid, daily sipper for myself. Um, all these whiskeys that I've showed you guys today, including my next one, the last one. These are whiskeys I sip on regularly. They're just good solid pours of whiskey, in my opinion, at a good value. I'm a high proof guy, as you notice, most of these are high proof, which I like the high proof because it, I think it delivers, wants a richness and a little bit longer lingering finish on your higher proof whiskeys. With this one right here, it does have a little bit of ethanol tinge. Me personally, if I'm drinking it neat, this is a great mixer. If I am drinking it neat, I do typically like this to sit in the glass for about 10 to 15 minutes, just to let it open up a little bit. But once it opens up, it's very nice. You got nice citrus notes, floral notes on the nose, a little bit of brown sugar and rye spice. Nothing super complex, but a very pleasant nose. On the palate, once again, kind of follows suit with the nose. You're getting floral aspects. Definitely a nice, bold rye spice. That's why I think this makes a great mixer. And you're also getting a little bit of vanilla and brown sugar in there. And it does finish off in a spicy, peppery oak note. Just a good, solid pour bourbon whiskey that is priced very well. Let's get into my final budget bourbon. Last, but definitely not least, is the Wild Turkey 101. The Wild Turkey 101 is distilled at Wild Turkey. This is a non a stated bourbon, but it is a blend of six, seven, and eight-year-old bourbons. It has a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. 50.5% ABV, 101 proof, with an MSRP of around $23. Last but not least, once again, guys, it's the Wild Turkey 101. This is a benchmark in my bar. Just like I said, all of these are. I keep all of these whiskeys that I've went through with you guys today in the bar. They're just all good solid pours in my opinion. Once again, if I would love to see your guys' list. Just leave it in the comments below of your top five go-to and available budget bourbons under $30. But this one here, guys, it's good for every situation. If you're wanting to mix, great mixer. If you're wanting to drink neat, there's nothing wrong with drinking this one neat. Coming in at 23 bucks. On the, on the nose, you're getting nice sweetness and spiciness. That's the thing about the wild turkey to me. It's very well balanced. You're getting nice caramels, vanillas, and brown sugars, but you're also getting a nice clove, baking spice, and that rye spice from their, their famous high rye mash bill. It's just a good, pleasant, and enjoyable nose. Same thing follows suit on the palate with a medium finish. Just a very, very enjoyable pour. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, leave your top five go-to available budget bourbons that are under $30 in the comments below. I'm so excited to see what you guys think about 
the bourbons that I've poured, and I'm excited to see what your top five is also. It's gonna wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I wanna thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you like what I'm doing, hey, click that subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. We'll see you next time, guys. Cheers.